Hi guys, hope you're good. It's me, Layla. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm in new surroundings. I am not in my bedroom, <laughs> as usual. Um, I'm currently on holiday with my mum for her birthday. We're in Morocco. Some of you probably know this because you follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. So yeah. A couple of nights ago, or I think it might have been maybe late last week, I was looking through some of my videos and looking through some of my comments and I had a comment from a young lady that really kind of touched me and as you guys may recall I think it was maybe around this time last year when I made a video about anxiety, stress, um, panic attacks and things of that nature that I was experiencing at the time or I'd kind of experienced um, and it was just me opening up to you guys about how I felt, how I was feeling and I remember the response I had on that video was really really positive actually um, in the sense that a lot of people also opened up about things that they were going through um, and just you know how those topics had affected their lives or people that they know so the comment that I saw last week was from a young black girl and I feel like this is an issue that us as young black people or just black people struggle with in general when it comes to mental health um, and her comment was that she was really glad that she wasn't the only black person or young black person um, experiencing this so I mean it really touched me I felt like wow you know um, for me to make that video and speak to you guys about a topic like that it wasn't easy so um, I understand how you know probably a lot of people go through similar situations without necessarily speaking to anyone about it and I find that as black people generally there's a lot of stigma around mental health and for that reason like nobody really talks about it nobody knows who to speak to nobody wants to discuss it when they're going through any of these things and a lot of the time it turns into depression and I remember maybe it was a couple of years ago quite a few you know I think it might have been like three people that I follow on social um, like two of them was on tumblr one of them was on YouTube and these were young black people that committed suicide and I believe it was like around a two-year period or like maybe in the same year and it completely took me by surprise because of course you know behind the camera behind the photos behind the tumblr you don't necessarily know what someone's going through um, and not everybody, you know, vocally speaks about how they feel. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Like, why, why do we as, you know, young black people find it so difficult to discuss when we're going through these things? And maybe there isn't enough kind of safe places for these discussions to take place. There isn't a forum for these discussions to take place. Whether it's in our homes or with our friends, you know, what is it about mental health that we struggle with to discuss so much and I know you know coming from especially like a you know a, an African background I know that mental health is something that's kind of not really discussed or you know it's not a topic that we openly talk about I mean there's a lot of taboos around it so I recently took part in a campaign with the NHS which over here in the UK is our National Health Service and I remember initially when they reached out to me the first things that really resonated with me was the fact that this was going to be an app for young people one and then secondly it was a directory with kind of a wealth of different topics and issues and of course mental health really stood out to me because of course it's something that I you know I can relate to it really resonates with me um, there was a really cool campaign video to go along with it. I've been tweeting it, so <laughs> I'm sure some of you probably have seen it already. If you haven't, I will put the link to nhsgo.uk below so you guys can check it out. Um, the landing page takes you to the video and it also gives you some information about the app. But in addition to that, the app is also web-based. So the actual website is also the directory where you can find more information. But um, yeah, I really want to know you know how you guys feel or how you dealt with it I think in my video I kind of spoke about you know you know the beginning the middle and not the end but the progress 
so how I dealt with mine how I got to where I am now I will be more than happy to make another video if you guys are interested um, just kind of breaking down exactly what I've been through I guess um, but yeah guys let me know and I will show you what the app looks like actually because I do have it on my phone So basically it looks like this, I'm not sure if it will focus, but you go in and it's not completely loading because my Wi-Fi is slow, but um, you go in and basically there's like a health A to Z, um, depression, anxiety, young people health, sex and relationships, sleep, etc. And there's always kind of featured posts which are articles that you guys can check out about different issues. Um, the last one they had that I was looking at was about healthy eating and well-being in general. So yeah, guys, definitely let me know your thoughts below. I'm really interested in kind of opening up a safe forum for us to have this discussion. And of course, if you are in the UK and you do need to seek professional advice, or you just want to know whether you're at the point where you do need professional advice, um, definitely check out nhsgo.uk. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Mwah. <laughs> Bye.